Welcome to Rick Rack Ruby. I'm Laura Clubo. Today we will be making the next project in the Glow Collection. It's this mini Jingle Bell Angel ornament. She's made with a jelly roll strip. She's fun and easy, so let's get started. I was at Hobby Lobby and, oh, I know these are making a lot of jingling, but I spotted this little um, container of Jingle Bells. And I thought that the blue and the pink might work with our glow fabric. So let's open them up and have a look. Now let's open up our jelly roll. Here's my glow fabric jelly roll. And there are usually about 40 or 42 strips from you know, whatever fabric collection you have. I've already decided that I want to use the candies. Let's see. So I think this would be good for these little Jingle Bell Angels. For the faces, I've chosen a 14 millimeter head bead. I've already created the faces for this project and you can find the instructions for the Rick Rack Ruby face in my Focus on Faces video. From one jelly roll strip, which is two and a half inches wide, we can make eight Jingle Bell Angels. First, let's cut off the selvages and then cut right at the fold and then cut this one in half. Now my strips are each about 11 inches long 10 or 11. And then I'm going to cut each one of these lengthwise. I'm going to go over and um, use a rotary cutter. I'll be right back. My strips are ready to go. I have eight of them cut. My sewing machine is threaded with white thread. And while I was looking for this, which I believe I will use for the wings, I discovered that I have a container of this sort of purplish color and I really like that. So I'm gonna use these too. So this Jingle Bell is about one and a quarter inches across. And I'm gonna take a half a yard of fabric, I mean a half a yard of ribbon, it's three eighths of an inch wide. And I'm gonna thread it through the top of the bell like that. Now I'm gonna knot it at least three times. I need a nice, tall knot here because this right here is what I'm going to be sewing the top of the dress to. So the head will be threaded on above the knot. And of course you don't have to have this exact ribbon but it needs to make a fairly substantial knot right here. I'm gonna thread this through my face bead from the bottom to the top, both ends. Okay, there we go. I've got my bell and then a nice tall knot there and then my 14 millimeter head bead. And then I'm gonna tie a knot above the bead just to make everything nice and secure. And then finally, I'm gonna tie an overhand knot here at the end. So you can see that even though I used a half a yard of ribbon, in the end, we <laughs> really need every bit of it. There we go. So she looks like that. Now I'll take one of my strips and I'm going to put it right sides together and just seam up this short little end on my sewing machine. Now, by the way, this is the only machine sewing for this project. And if you wanted to, you could sew that by hand and then it would be no machine sewing. So I'm going to gather up the top straight edge of this little loop. I'm going through a single layer of fabric with a uh, length of, 
This is called heavy duty upholstery thread. So, you know, you could use a quilting thread or a crafting thread, or in this case, an upholstery thread. Just whatever strong thread that you have that's suitable for hand stitching. There we go, I'm back to the beginning. So there's the little skirt. Here's my seam. I'm gonna make sure that my seam is at the back. I'm gonna place this little dress below her chin. And remember, I'm sewing through the ribbon right here. The seam is in the back and the gathers are up right against her chin there. I've pulled the gathers nice and tight. Looks good. And so I'm going to secure the thread by stitching back and forth through that knot a few times. And now I'll secure my thread at the back. That looks good. You can see her little skirt um, flares out above the bell, but the bell is still, you know, easy to see. That's part of the design. So we're not trying to hide the bell. And I'm not very concerned about these extra little threads because I have a bow that I'm going to glue there. Um, here, one of these. When I'm just about done, I'm going to just stick one of those bows right there and that should disguise any little thread ends. All right, let's add the hair. For the hair, I'm going to do something different. Here's my loopy mohair and here's like a fuzzy, I don't really know what it is. It feels soft like Angora or something. It's fuzzy and soft, but I'm gonna use two strands together. And I'm gonna wrap around my fingers in a figure eight. One and two and three and four and. So I'm treating them as a single strand of yarn. I'll cut that off nice and long and wrap around all the way. Pick up the first end and tie this off in the center. This is what I call a figure eight bundle. Oof, I pulled that one a little too tight. But that's all right, I need to cut it off anyway. There we go. I'll do one more. Treating both of these as a single strand of yarn. One and two, three and four and weave a nice long tail and wrap around all the way. Pick up the first end and tie this off. There we go. So I have two figure eight bundles. I like to leave these little ends. Sometimes they just happen to work out and look just like bangs, <laughs> but not always. All right, so I have my hot glue gun and I'm gonna squeeze out a line of glue. We're gonna start with the back. Well, actually like a, a little circle of glue in the back of her head. I'm noticing that this bead is not completely round. It's, I don't know, somehow it got cut off a little bit there, but that doesn't bother me. So there's the glue and I'm gonna place the center of the bundle right there behind the ribbon up here and sort of press those into the glue on the back of her head. Then any of these that haven't stuck to the glue, I'm gonna apply some more glue just to secure those pieces on the sides. Here's how it looks. And there's the back. The back will be um, covered a little bit by the wings, so I'm not super concerned about the back, but the front, I'm going to be a little bit more careful. I'm going to squeeze out a little bit of glue right in front of this knot, and then I'm going to place the center of the bundle right into the glue. There we go. Then I'm going to twist this side just to get a feel for how it's going to look. 
and then twist that side and I like it, it's gonna be good. So I'll just go ahead and squeeze some glue out right here on the side of her face and then twist and press that yarn into the glue. That looks good. So I'll repeat for the second. I'm sorry, I know the jingle bell is so annoying. <laughs> I'm gonna squeeze out some glue right here and then press this side into the glue. I wanna be sure that the hair does not obscure the features. So in other words, I wanna make sure that I can always see her face, which I can. So far, so good. Let's add her halo. This is 20 gauge gold wire and wire cutters. I'm gonna cut off about two inches. And then I like to use my thimble just to shape it into a circle or a U. And then a little bit of hot glue on each end of the wire and then I'm gonna press each side of the wire into her head like that. That looks good. Now for the wings, we're gonna use this garland. It's from Target, Wonder Shop, and it's sort of an aqua blue colored garland with these little stars, kind of like a tinsel garland, but with stars. <laughs> and it's wired. So I cut seven inches of this little garland and I'm, I'm um, folding it in half. I'm folding it in half just to determine the center it's not about the fold, it's about just determining the center. And then I'm going to fold each end over, this is for the wings, into the center like that, okay? They should look approximately the same. And then these little ends, which overlap about a quarter of an inch beyond the V, I'm going to fold up over the point of that V right there. And then I'm gonna open them up a little bit and shape them a little. And then on this side, which is where the raw edges of the wires are, they're right here, I'm gonna apply some glue and press that onto the back of her head. There's the glue. And remember the, the raw edges of the wire are against the head. So the folded edges of the wire are in the back here. And then finally, let's add this bow under her chin. Now I bought the pre-tied bows from La Petite's at Michael's. And I've, got, I've seen them in, I've used a lot of reds and a lot of whites, and then they also come in black, and they come in sort of like a burlap color. Now, one thing that I might do, I think I will do, I'm going to add a little sticky glitter star to the back of the wings where all those edges come together. I just wouldn't want the wire to come through and you know, poke a child who might be reaching for this on the tree. There we go, I'm gonna call this done. Cute, and I really like this purple color, so I'll probably wind up just using the rest of these. Sure, okay, I'm just gonna use this color for all of them. <laughs> anyway, we're done. Thank you for watching my tutorial. If you're enjoying my videos, please like, share, and subscribe.